Hi, in this video we'll learn about literals and escape sequences. In a previous lesson you learned how to use this command to print a string to the console. In this lesson you are going to dive a little deeper into strings and printing to the console. First though let's introduce a new vocabulary word, literal. In programming a literal is a fixed value that you write directly in your code. It's a value that stays constant throughout the program and it is used exactly as it is. You can connect this concept to something you might be familiar with from English class, literal and figurative language. Literal language means exactly what it says, and figurative language uses comparisons to create meaning. For example, let's say there is a very cute puppy. A literal description of the puppy could be, that puppy is very cute. This means exactly what it says, the puppy is cute. On the other hand, a figurative description of the puppy could be, that puppy is a fluffy ball of sunshine. In this description, the puppy is being compared to a ball of sunshine to show how cute it is. Going back to programming then, a literal in Java is like literal language. It is exactly what it is. For example, a number literal might be 10. If you type the integer 10 into your program, it is a literal because that is exactly what it is, the integer value of 10. Similarly, you can have a string literal, which is really just a string. As a reminder, a string is a sequence of characters enclosed in double quotes, like this example, I am a string. You've been using literals already when you assigned a value to a variable. In this example, 10 and carol at codehs.com are literals. Now that you know about literals, let's get back to printing. In this lesson, we'll focus on printing string literals. There are actually two ways to print in Java. Both system.out.println and system.out.print display information on the computer screen or console. So far, you have seen the println statement. This command moves the cursor to a new line after printing. This is why when you have two println statements, each string is printed on a separate line. Print, on the other hand, without the ln, stays on the same line after printing. So if you were to replace the print lns with print, you would still get hello world, but world would be on the same line as hello. This applies to all literals, not just string literals. Here's an example with integers. When you use print ln, the one is printed on a new line. However, when you use print, the one is on the same line as the 66. Another important characteristic of string literals is escape sequences. Escape sequences allow you to include special characters and actions in string literals. They start with a backslash and they have special meanings in Java. You can find the backslash on this key on your keyboard, which is typically right above enter or return. The backslash quotation mark enables you to add quotation marks in a string. Without the escape sequence, Java would read the quotation marks as the end of your string literal, which would cause an error. The backslash n creates a line break in the middle of the string. When you run this program, you would get the text before the escape sequence on one line and the text after the escape sequence on the next line. Notice how the space is included in the second line. The backslash t escape sequence inserts a tab space. It is equivalent to using the tab key on a keyboard. In this string, the tab is inserted between the words hello and world. So when you run the program, you get hello, large space, world. This escape sequence comes in handy when you want to format text that is printed to the console. If you use only one backslash, the computer expects an escape sequence. So, in order to tell Java that you actually want a backslash, you do this with a double backslash. The escape sequence double backslash enables you to include a backslash in a string. Now that you know about printing strings and escape sequences, it's your turn to write your own programs.